22-year-old Ukrainian star Mikhailo Mudrik has been heavily linked with several top Premier League clubs. So how does he play and who do I think would best suit his play style? Before I get into the video, can I remind you to please like and subscribe for more tactical analysis and stats. The first thing to point out with Mudrik is that his appearances have been relatively few due to Shakhtar Donetsk's position in eastern Ukraine and the 2020 invasion by Russia. Therefore, all deductions will be primarily from the Champions League. So how does he play? Despite formations having into the side of the pitch, the Shakhtar talisman actually plays away from the touchline as shown by his heat map. If you've watched Mudrik, the first thing you'll notice is that he is absolutely rapid, like arguably Barcelona and Mbappe rapid. However, in the attacking phase, he doesn't normally use this by trying to beat the offside trap. Instead, he tends to drift into the half space between the defence and the attack to receive the ball to feet. This drop-in causes the opponent to drift out of space where he usually attempts to use his pace to turn the defender and run inside onto goal. And because of Mudrik's lethality with both feet, the defender will have a harder time choosing which way to show him in the middle of the pitch. Alternatively, this opens up space on the wings for an attacking left-back to run into and fashion across. But this isn't Mudrik's only attacking dimension. Whilst he prefers the ball to his feet, if there is space to run into, a simple ball over the top will complement his pace perfectly where he can then have a shot or run to the byline and then cross him. With this in mind, it's clear that a team that prefers to counter-attack or attack from deep would utilise his space and finishing best. One thing I think Mudrik could improve on is his passing and decision making to decide when to pass. I've seen times where he tries to dribble but he's unable to get past the defender and loses the ball or simply makes a bad pass. Defensively, Mudrik is passive. I think he could work in a high pressing style. In simple terms, he'll happily close down the space and he'll happily stand an opponent up, but don't expect him to put in tackles and interceptions nor follow his attacker that well. In a team that expects every player to help defend, this is an area that he could improve on, or is something that is minimised by a team playing him at a time in the game when attack is preferred or having a system where he doesn't need to defend. Finally, in terms of set pieces, Mudrik would add an interesting bow to a team. He won't score bucket loads from free kicks, but he can put decent balls into the box. Defensively, he's not asked to be in the box, instead uses an outlet for counter-attacks which suits his playstyle. But do the stats back this up? In the Champions League this season, Mudrik is 7th for overperforming his non-penalty expected goals, 35th for non-penalty goals and assists per 90, and 9th for percentage of shots on target which is impressive considering Rodrigo de Paul is the only player in the top 10 that takes shots from further away. Outside of this, Mudrik's stats in the Champions League aren't that impressive. He's one of just six players yet to win an aerial duel. His expected assists are outside the top 100 and whilst he's 75th for the most successful dribbles, he only completes 29.4% of them. However, whilst I'm sounding incredibly negative about him, I think he'll become an incredible player. There's just something about him. His mentality and confidence on the pitch drives him to continuously improve his game. And this combined with his raw physical, dribbling and shooting talents points him in only an extremely positive direction. And finally, of the reported Premier League teams interested in the Ukrainian prodigy, who do I think he'll fit best? For me, I think Man United would be his best option. Ten Hag likes to draw teams closer to his goal to open up large amounts of space and then attack from deep. And just to caveat that, I'm not saying he'd only work there, it's just I think Man United would suit his playstyle best. Competition at Man United would be fierce, but then this is something he would also find at Arsenal and Chelsea as well. In conclusion, Mudrik is incredibly rapid and best utilised with lots of space for his direct dribbling. In play, he'll drift in between the lines, away from the touchline to receive the ball to feet. He'll often try to dribble past the player, but I think he could pass more. The Premier League team that I think would suit him best is Man United.